All right, the Swiss K31. I took this out a while ago and I was just fooling around. I uh, figured I'd give it a run. I'm going to see how close it is at 15. We'll take it out to 100 and 200. And some people say that this is the best of best of surplus rifles. A little bit of a stretch. And I had these nice plastic speed loaders. Uh, it's a good gun. It's a quality gun. And uh, they're accurate. But is it the best surplus rifle out there? Like some, ah, eh, it's going a little too far. Unique design, well made, known for their accuracy. Of course, the Swiss pride themselves on being marksmen. They practice all the time. Uh, I do believe there are other guns out there that are just as good as this one. Mausers, a lot of Mausers, especially. Workmanship, accuracy. Unique in itself, and we'll cover it in videos, but today we're just going to bang some rounds down out of it. And just to see what she does. There's five. And let's see what we got. Well, not too bad. Stringing, of course, me that rest in that short gun, I might have to try something else. But I bumped, when I took it out of the safe, the rear sight was bumped up a little. So for some reason, that one shoots a tad low with that ammo. I'm going to try another five down here, then we're going to go to the 100 and 200 yard range. Alright, I'm going to see if shouldering this weapon a little better will help. And I did move the rear sight up a tad. Which, I don't know why. But, seems to work better. I mean, it is a smooth acting gun, smooth action on this gun. Nice shooter. Alrighty. Let's see. Well, we got a couple right on the mark. Three of them were low. Could be me. So we're going to leave it at that. Take it out to a hundred and see what we do there. Maybe take our time. <laughs> <laughs> 